So I'm excited. We got something else for the office to help us do better stuff. And that's the important thing. We've been on this progression of incrementally buying things for the office uh, to make things a little bit better, to have better audio. And the only reason I'm not using the blue microphone for this audio is because I actually have to have my camera mobile. And that is because we got us a brand new me photo tripod yep so we currently use this thing the uh, Targus uh, it's a 66 inch plastic tripod and we are going to replace it with this big bad mammy jamma called the uh, road trip tripod kit pretty simple it's a pretty neat little thing. But, um, it will give us a little bit more stability that we need. Uh, you kind of worry about plastic. Yes, plastic is nice because it's light, but that is a cheap tripod I got initially starting out because I needed a cheap tripod. But we've gone, I saved my pennies. I got some free reward points and things of that nature. So it came down to where it was a lot cheaper than what I would have bought uh, just outright. And that is good because I kind of wanted a better tripod, but I had to wait a little bit in order to actually pay for it. So we're looking pretty good. I got the color red. So let's see what this big bad boy looks like whenever I pull this sucker out of the box. All right, so let's see what this big bad boy has here. feels better plus this is a lot more compact and I'll show you the reasons why here in just a minute the simple good canvas material I like the strap adjustable strap so you can hang it on your shoulder and do whatever you need to with it nothing else too fancy about it zippers on the bottom let's see what we do It's actually got a little zip pocket inside there. So if you want to store some stuff in there. Oh, look at that. So, got some hardware. You got some points. Uh, if you want to put points on the end of it, I guess if you're like in a, uh, on the ground, an uh, extra lawn or mud type scenario, so you can get some good points. It can be a good little Allen wrench to go with it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So that's good. Gives you a little instruction kit. I like this that they put it in a waterproof bag. So that way if you are out and it's rainy and you need to do something, then uh, that, that saved out a little bit. So I like that. Good stuff. I like the bag. Nothing else inside. Good padding. But I like that pocket because then not only can you put uh, the items that you need, but you can also put maybe some SD cards in there or something else you need for your camera. Maybe an extra strap. Uh, anything you want to put in there will work just fine. Uh, so it's a good little pocket. So let's put that off to the side there. And let's see what this whole thing is about. So the first thing is, really look at it, is the construction. Well, it's just a hell of a lot better. There's no doubt about it. It is just better. You can feel it as soon as you pull it out. You can see exactly what it is. Uh, right here on the card, you can't really see it, but it gives you the max height. You can get up to 64 inches uh, as a monopod. And if you're as a tripod, you can do it to almost a 62, a 61.8. Folded up, it's only taking up 15 and a half uh, inches. And it's only 3.6 pounds. Um, 
love it, it can be up to 17.6. The thing that I like about it though is, is that it is, it is so compact in regards to the actual physical size of it. It is not very big. And that is due to the fact of how they implemented the legs. So what you do is you take these legs and you can actually pull them out. There's a clip right there. And then you can do your tripod however you want to do it in whatever form or fashion that you want. You can do that. Also, these legs come off and you can fashion them together and make you a good monopod. So it, it works really, really well for what you want to do. And so really quickly, let's look at this so you can kind of see. There's a little catch right here. So when you go down, you can put that up. And you push this little catch down, and it's, think of it as a lever. So what it will allow you to do is that it locks it in place so that way it can't move on its own. Some have locking mechanisms that, that can, will eventually move, but what this is, this is actually using the leverage of the device itself. So it's literally, let's see if I can get it right here, it's just this little tab, but that little tab is all metal too. So whenever you fold it down past the point where you want it, you push that tab in, you fold it back up. So then that actually locks it. So it's using the leverage of the leg itself along with the metal and putting it underneath where you want it to give you that good lock. And that thing is not going to move because it actually sits underneath what you need. So you just pop that up and look at that. That's pretty doggone smart. You move that down a little bit and you can push that down. You ready to move it up? You push that up. And guess what? You fold it all the way up for what you want it to be, and you get your little shape and form. So that's really, really nice. I really, really like that. So that makes it just doubly, triply sturdier than anything else you have. Of course, you have the, the twist locks, so you can lock and twist it, which is really nice. Uh, nice, hard screw, so you really got to get it in there and I want to say you got to make it earn the lock but that's kind of the best way to put it because it's, it's sturdy enough to do that so it's very nice very well once you get it together it is very very sturdy I, I don't see any problems with that at all got a fluid head and what's nice about this thing is they have the degrees so you can check the degrees for what you want to do and how you want to do it uh, you, of course you have your standard head mount down here all this is all the standard stuff that we know from tripods but a little bit better it does have a quick release this is a quick clamp so you can quickly clamp in your camera twist that and lock that big bad boy down and this is the this is the fun part eh, it's kind of neat because we're using channels to make sure they locked everything in but here's what I want you to see right here is a V channel and do this it slides but it has a catch on the back so if you want your camera to lean forward a little bit more or go down you don't have that worry that all of a sudden it's going to maybe slide out because there's a secondary catch in there that keeps it there's a little channel that little U groove right there and there's this little pin right there See if you can see it if I pop it up right there. That is what you want. Of course, you've got your regular uh, connector there for your camera for what you need, your quarter inch or whatever size you've got on your camera. So it's really, really nice and tight. And because it's a V channel, right, it makes this V, it helps stabilize it a little bit more. It's a weird thing, but it really does. What's really good, uh, another thing, is that because it has so many different adjustments, you can put your camera kind of right where you want to. Maybe at an angle, maybe forward, maybe back, pitch and yawn, however you want it, and you're gonna have the stability of this thing here. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put them up side by side next to the 
good old Targus plastic one and we'll see how they go. So I put them two up. We're going to be comparing the heights here in just a minute. But I put the two together, folded them up, and you can see the difference in just sheer size. Actually, let me adjust this down a little bit so it's really edge to edge. So you can see how much difference there is between the folded up Mi Photo and, of course, the folded up Targus uh, fully closed. And you can see how the Targus, even though it has a handle, you take that handle away, you still have a lot of space being taken up. Now, that's, that's not exactly a small thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty big, but it's not that that big, but it's big enough to where you think about it. But look how small that me photo folds up to. That's just absolutely amazing. That is what you want whenever you're carrying something like a backpack and you want a tripod, you can slip that sucker on the side and you got plenty of room. That's nice. All right, so let's look at these big bad boys and let's do a little comparison between the two. I got them both set up side by side, kind of get a good idea of the height and what they look like. So we'll see what we've got going on. First, you should be able to see that while the Mifrodo is a little bit higher, the big thing is they both have the same thing. They have an articulating arm. So this arm right here and that arm right there, they both articulate, go up and down. Second thing is, is that the targets in order to get the arm up and down, you twist this little lever right here and that moves it up or down for what you want. For the Mi Photo, it's a little bit different. You go through this and you can lift it up or down for whatever you want to use. And the good thing is they both have the same hook at the bottom. So that way you can add weights if you need to. The difference is, is that the hook on the Targus is stationary. The one here is more recessed, which is which I like because it allows it to save a little bit of room. It's not sticking out for what you want to use. The next thing you'll notice is the fact that the Mifrodo just looks and feels better. Yes, it is a little bit shorter when you have them side by side right there. You can see the Targus is a little bit higher because it sits a couple inches higher than the Mifoto does. And that is, that's okay. I don't need it to be seven feet tall or things of that nature, so I'm good with that. The final thing is, is that the Targus requires, because it's kind of this plastic flimsy, requires stabilizers. Whereas the Mifoto does not because it's made of the higher quality metal. Also, these are little clasps that you can use versus a screw mechanism. You just simply unscrew it and the leg goes down. And you screw it tight and you're good and stable, which is really nice. Uh, it makes it a lot easier, although I do like to clasp because you can do them more one-handed. The uh, Mifoto almost requires two-handed operations to undo everything, uh, but that's okay. The weight difference, you're going to have a weight difference between the two, but if you're carrying stuff, I will take the little bit heavier Mifoto uh, versus Targus any day of the week just because of stability. You have the ability to be more confident in what it is. It seems a little bit more uh, adaptable to what you want to do, head-wise goes, and, uh, and basically it just looks a little better. So, we added something new to our office strictly for video and still shots. And that's a big stepping stone because, as we talked about in the past, we are looking at cameras. In fact, we're having a discussion about what camera to get now. And that can only be done if you have a tripod that can handle the weight of a bigger and better camera. You know, I use a Sony RX100 Mark III, which isn't that heavy. Uh, it does a very good job. You know, it shoots a great 1080p. And even the microphone, which I'm using now, isn't bad for in an office environment, that is. So it's not bad. But if we want to do more, we want to do more videos, and we're going to be doing the podcast and everything else, then we have to also update the base 
of whatever we're going to use and that requires a much better tripod a much more stable tripod one that we have more confidence in that we can do stuff with weight wise i'm not too concerned about um, because even if i take it with somewhere it's almost four pounds i can handle the four pounds i don't really care versus like 1.2 that doesn't bother me whatsoever so it allows us to really go up in levels as far as what we're going to do next camera wise because now we have a good solid steady base something that is good quality that will last us a long time and allow us to do a little bit more so there you have it our newest addition to our office and our, our hopefully much better tripod as always thank you so much for for watching and doing what you're doing it's 2017 make sure you do the right things back your stuff up Got a link down to Backblaze that I use for personally, uh, personal stuff as well as my company. Go. If you're not backing up and it's gone, it's gone forever. Don't, don't, don't be that person who cries in the corner all by yourself because you lost everything. Back your stuff up. Go get down to Backblaze. Be a link down below to look at the photo so you can see the reviews and all that fun stuff and, and the cost factor. And then always do something good and stay out of trouble because it's cheaper. Be good.